Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. The situation hasn't changed really on the chart. Um, the price has just broken a previous swing high slightly, but could not maintain above that high. So we had a break above the Friday, the 22nd um, of December high, um, but the price couldn't stay above it and basically continues to move in this ongoing range here now that we already discussed so looking at the bigger picture assumption completely unchanged the ideal scenario um, is that the price is moving in a diagonal pattern in which we see one more high so i've got a wave one i've got a wave two i've got a wave three and the wave four might be unfolding right now and that's at least the assumption and then one more high in a wave five would be expected Important to understand that our support level is at 34.5 cents, but it would be ideal not to break below 39 because below that level, the 50% retracement level, um, first of all, the chart would break out of the trend channel there to the downside, the parallel trend channel. In addition to that, um, it would, it, you know, a wave four that retraces more than the 50% FIB level is not ideal, also not in a diagonal. Yes, we have to give it a bit more space than in an impulse, but still, um, ideally, it's going to um, hold the 50% FIP level, okay? It's just that, okay, we can still accept the diagonal if the price comes to the golden ratio, but I would start to trust it less, all right? But either way, in both, so in both, well, not in both scenarios, in this scenario, one more high is expected, but then we have two scenarios within this wave four how the wave four can unfold. And we will understand that now when we go to the one hour chart. Um, these have slightly changed from yesterday due to this um, extension higher that the price formed. But still the two scenarios are overall still the same. So we still have a triangle pattern, which however would be extending right now. It's now the yellow wave count. Um, and we have one in which the price comes down into the support zone and goes a little lower. But the values have changed a little bit. The Fibonacci projections have changed a little bit. So in a triangle scenario, the wave four would basically complete at the end of the E wave. Um, in a triangle, we want to see higher lows and lower highs. And basically one more higher low is needed to complete the triangle in this E wave. Um, I mean, it's technically possible a triangle completed yesterday. Yeah, which with this low, no, it was Tuesday. That's how I had the count before. But the rally was only in three waves and the decline is quite strong. So I don't assume that this is what's happening. Uh, instead, if there is a triangle and the wave four will form a triangle, then the triangle is still unfolding and the E wave is being formed right now. So in this scenario, the price would need to stay above, um, would need to stay above the 54.5 cent level though, okay? because then we break below the C wave flow, which is in a triangle not really um, allowed. So that's one scenario. And the other scenario is the white scenario leaning towards that. Um, it would allow for a little bit of a lower wave four. And then we have a W, X, Y structure. And then in the Y wave, we have an A, B. So yesterday's high was a B wave top. And we're now coming down in wave C. The Fibonacci projections, so E wave, so the yellow count is easy. You know, if anybody wants to trade the yellow one, I mean, the 54.4 cent level is basically the invalidation point. Just note that just below that, the support zone starts for the white structure. Essentially, all of this is support all the way down to 34 and a half cents, maybe 39 cents. Um, but I, I assume we will not go down that much. I think it will rather be around, I mean, the next key pivots are here. They are basically the Fibonacci projections for the C wave measured against wave A and the B wave top. So basically the C wave and the A wave in the white count, they have a certain Fibonacci ratio relationship. And it's between the 100% extension and the 161.8 extension. So between this, these two levels, we have a range of Fib levels and the C wave might react to one of them. Yeah. So basically immediate, you could say the immediate pivot immediate support goes down to 47 cents. I want to see if there is a reaction to one of these levels. So uh, we've got that 40, um, 54 and a half cent level, which is the previous support, then 54, 51.3, 49.7, and then 47.1 cents. Going below that level doesn't mean 
it wouldn't be a C wave. It's just that in this area, there is a heightened chance, increased probabilities of a reaction. Yeah, and um, at the moment, I assume the B wave might have topped. Okay, or the D wave and the triangle, but then the price would need to show a reaction here soon, which is possible as well, right? So it's just both are possible, you know. I have, you know, I'm, I'm leaning towards a clear, what you know, WXY structure, but it could be the triangle. So the possibilities, you need to know about them. They are both likely options. Either way, which whichever one of these is unfolding, one more high would be anticipated in wave five. That's my update about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.